Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today we're going to be doing a dirty resin pour on an IKEA side table. Just a quick note, to prep this, I did lightly sand it so that the resin could adhere better. For this project, I'm using just three colors. I'm using uh, gold, which is the gold metallic and gold dust uh, polycolor mica powders. And then I'm using a blue, which is the alumamite ocean blue dye, as well as the polycolor bright blue green mica. And the last color I'm using is just alumalite white dye. And I'm using Mixed Media Girl Artist Resin. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these all mixed up. by dirty pour is we're going to pour all of the colors together in this one big bucket. Now this is about a uh, two foot by two foot table more or less. So um, it needs about 12 ounces of resin, but since I'm doing this as a design, I'm going for a little bit more resin because I don't want to have to tilt it too much. So I'm actually using around 16 ounces. All right, I've got my bucket filled up and we are now ready for the pour. So there's no real right or wrong way to pour this, but I like to go in ribbons and kind of stay away from the edge of the table to start with. You don't want your resin pouring off the edge before you are ready. And don't worry, it's not gonna stay as straight as this. We're going to be tilting and moving it around. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a bit of heat to this before I start tilting so that it's nice and liquid and you can use a torch or you can use a heat gun. I prefer to use a heat gun. So I went ahead and heated this and now we're gonna go ahead and just tilt. So how you tilt it, totally up to you. Um, one quick suggestion, feel free to take some of the extra along the sides and that can kind of help it move. You can probably kind of see why you wanna use some extra resin on this than you would normally use. I'm just going to keep helping it along the sides here a little bit and I'm going to heat gun this one more time just to make it a little bit more liquid. Feel free to also 
utilize the runoff on the table. use the heat gun as much as you want to move the resin around and then otherwise just go ahead and tilt to your heart's content. with your design you still need to remove the air bubbles at least one more time so you can use your heat gun you can use a torch and you can even spray it with isopropyl alcohol if you want which will actually give you some fun designs so I'm gonna do that so this kills two birds with one stone one it kind of gives it this crazy uh, effect and two it gets rid of the air bubbles at this point, leave it and let it cure and then put a clear coat over it. You could leave it as is, but I definitely recommend that clear coat for durability. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this cure, put the clear coat on it, and then we'll come back when it is all done. Mm -hmm. 